Hello, Stuart from Rats Playground here, and I am playing a brand new game which has come out today called Box Island. This is one of the uh, growing number of games that are designed to teach children programming skills. Um, so it's all about getting kids to code, but in the context of a game it doesn't feel like a kind of a, a lesson. Uh, and I'm literally starting off for the first time so you can see how it works. So I am going to start by choosing an avatar. Enter my name. And there we go. So the idea of this game is it's set on Box Island, that being what it's called. Um, and it's very presented much like something like Angry Birds almost, with the little cut scenes as you begin showing you what happens. Um, and the idea here is your children work through 100 levels, you get 10 for free, it's a free download with 10 for free, and then you can buy the extra levels in packs as you go. So I'll let you listen to the story a bit. So as you can tell, you're playing someone called Hero, um, whose job is to help him rescue his friend. Um, the levels have three stars, so this is, much, again, a bit like Angry Birds. Children will recognise this structure of how they score. So my job is to tell him where to go. So I'm going to drag this arrow to move forward and play. And this is basically a little program. I've told him to go forward one space, and I've run it. And that's how I do it. It's basically a game. It looks really good. It looks like a kind of console game almost. It's 3D graphics. Um, but it's getting kids to think about working in order, um, planning their moves. So I am going to go forward one space, and I'm going to go right one space. As you can see, the commands appear there, um, as if you're writing a program. Mm -hmm. And there I'm collected the three stars. So this is very much the introduction to the game, so I think it's teaching kids about how the basic concepts work. Um, as you go on, um, they'll be learning things like algorithms and pattern recognition and sequences and loops and conditionals, all these proper programming, but told through these kind of cute little cubes um, who are on the water. So I'm going to go left, I'm going to go forward, I can rearrange the commands if I get anything wrong, left, forward, forward, and that should be it. There you go. There's good achievement, actually. Kids will immediately know what they have to do, and they'll immediately be getting three stars and feeling kind of happy about it. It's not feeling hard. Now, what have I got here? A dodgy red character. Mm -hmm. So I am guessing that I don't want to go in him. Uh, let's go right again. I want to go down. Now, as you can see, you've got a limited amount of these commands on the right, left here. So you have to ration them out. He looks quite sleepy. This has come from a developer called Radiant Games, who are based in Iceland, I think, an interesting inter company, who've been working on this idea of how to get children learning programming skills for a while through games and play. Um, so now I have a box. There. Let's see. Ah, he pushed that other way. So Jenny, uh, that's introduced me to how that you can push boxes around. I suspect that will come in handy later on, having played a lot of games in my time where pushing boxes is quite a big part of it. And here we are, this is showing me the structure of the game and the levels. So again, very familiar from a lot of other games you have where you're jumping along these these uh, levels um, and progressing. Now here we go, so... I think I might need to push him into the water, perhaps. If that's not too rude a thing to go, so I go left, forward, forward, forward. Let's see how that goes. One, oh, there he goes. A bit evil now. So it gradually builds up. So the way it's going to work is um, you will play the first 10 levels for free to get a sense of the game, and then you'll be able to buy the next 20 levels for $2.99, the next 50 levels for $5.99, or the, the, all 90 of the non free levels for $7.99. So not too expensive, but you do get a chance to kind of play it before you go. Ah, so here, here we go. The commands are unlocked here. So what's happening here? I know I need to go right, 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 forward, forward. How do I unlock these? Let's have a look. Ah, look, they're locked in place, so I'm going to go the wrong way now and get eaten. 
So that's an example of getting it wrong. And that way, kids can just go, okay. So he's already going right, right, right. So I just need to go up and right. Half the sneezing guy. And there I am. So it's very it's very very kind of a nice entry really. It's not hard. It's not it's not telling to it's not expecting them to read stuff before they start. It's really um getting them to solve problems. So here I can see there's some kind of a array coming out, death ray. So I guess I have to push that box into it perhaps. And then do I need to go left, up, but I've solved a little puzzle there, and I've got the stars. It's quite an easy one. And you go forward, forward, forward. What's the trap? I'm always looking for a trap in these situations. But no. And so I think I'm about to hit the end of the free level. So I'll just show you how it gets you to upgrade. So what's here? Ah, here you go. So again, a bit like Angry Birds, there are these little movies that tell you the story as you go along. Um, the idea being that kids will want to carry on playing through the levels because it's a story as well as the achievement of kind of getting through. So let's play level 10 and see how that goes. So here we go, I have a new code block which is repeat until tile. So here we go, so I'm doing something, repeating it until that tile in the middle there with the leaves. So basically this is telling it, go forward until you get to that tile. So again, this is a slightly more complicated program um, without ever calling it a program in the game. And there you go. All three stars. And that's the first ten levels. So after this point, it should say, hey, you're going to pay. So let's see. Here we go. So these are the British prices. So £2.29 for up to level 30, £5.99 for up to level 100, £4.49 up to level 60. So you can kind of choose as a parent how you feel comfortable. Uh, certainly I want to kind of buy the whole thing really and play with it with my kids. Um, I'm learning something because I did programming at school but I've forgotten most of it. So I'm kind of quite, I always enjoy these apps. But my kids who are just about to start doing programming at school, I think they will enjoy this and they'll want to work through and the puzzle solving aspect will appeal to them. So this is Box Island. It's available for iPhone and iPad. It's out today as a free download. And if you've enjoyed this review, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, there should be a subscribe button around this video. And see all our reviews when they come out and our vlogs and parenting videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If, you've, if you're playing this or if you use other coding apps that your kids like, please do leave a comment and let us know what you think and let other parents know which ones you recommend for their children.